Welcome back to the vineyard, everybody. Episode 7, the very last episode. As you can see here, our raisins are all done. Our grape juice is all done. So in total, it took probably, I don't know, a good couple years to run all this. So if we, if we did a, another harvest, it would have definitely bottlenecked our, our uh, industry here. But we got 82 pallets of grape juice sitting here. And we got 44 pallets of raisins so we're gonna make some big bucks it is september it's the highest price for our raisins so we're gonna get those sold those will be over we're not gonna do the sell everything point because that's the one i put down for that grass we're actually going to go to uh the lee yarin uh area it's a little less but uh it gets to see the map a little bit and it's a little more legit instead of using our sell point so what I want to do is take, uh, let's take one pallet of grape juice, one pallet of raisins. We'll take these over to the uh, vineyard there and just have them for customers to buy. And then we'll sell the rest, so it'll be kind of exciting. We'll have to get a new forklift, I think. I want to get that one that has the, uh, it's the gas split one, so we could actually do like four pallets at once. And it'll, you know, cause us less grief, if you will, trying to load all these, because it is quite a bit. And then we'll probably use the, I think we're going to use the uh, semi-truck with our flatbed. And we can grab that and yeah, we'll be able to get these sold and we'll see what we get for money. I think what we're going to do is after we buy that forklift, we're going to zero out our cash too, to zero. And all everything that we get will basically be profit. So it'll be kind of nice to see that. Oh, we got two pallets here. We only wanted one. They did a wonderful job here of stacking all these pallets up so they'll make it easy for us. It's, uh, I didn't think we were going to get that many, but it just shows you how much product you can actually get from all the grapes. Okay, let's get this speared here. And then we'll head on over to the vineyard and then our customers can purchase these. Again, like you can see, there's another batch ready to go. I didn't have time to cultivate those or mulch, but probably won't be as good of a harvest when we go. Anyone's curious, let's just see what the yield potential would be on that, because I'm a little curious too by not doing that. That's only a 38% yield bonus. So we definitely wouldn't get as much as we did here. Alright, what do we think here? Is that a couple by the stairs, maybe? Probably not the best place for these, but it's better than the fertilizer room, I think. Let's get the top layer off here, so... We can get at the grape juice if we need it. Like so. Alright. We'll just park this over here. All right, we need to get down to our sell point vehicle shop. And we need to purchase, where's our flatbed? It was over here, okay. Yeah, we need to purchase that forklift. It's going to be the gas one here, the lizard. Actually, I think I'm going to leave this the default yellow. I've never, I've always changed the color on this one. We'll leave it the stock for a change. All right. There she be. Let's get this trailer hooked up. Get it all strapped in. And we shall head up to our grape factory. Alrighty, like so. Get her strapped in. And we are off. Okay, just trying to think of how we're going to do this. We're going to get the raisins here. Less, um... We're going to have to back in, I think. Let's go up our field road here. About destroying the neighbor's sunflowers here. Alright, we kind of just got wedged in here. Let's get her on strap then. And yeah, I'll show you what we got here. The beauty of this forklift for those who haven't seen this one yet. We can split it like this, so we can actually load, but we'll be able to do 
like four pallets at once when you double stack them. Actually, maybe even more than that if we go double wide deep. Depends on how heavy these things are. Let's see, let's try to go for these on the end here. And then... Bring them in here. Oh, this could be a problem here though because we don't have the top layer yet. So we'll back up and just do the four. Maybe. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Get the center of gravity a little bit closer. And like so, you got four pallets in one go. Alrighty, last two, almost, <laughs> alrighty, let's try that again, last two are loaded, alright, as long as that took, it's gonna take us even longer when we do the grapes, but it'll be totally worth it, look at all those ready to go, alright, let's get all this stuff strapped in here, and we'll start rolling on out to the sell point. Oh yeah, we wanted to zero our money. Let's do that. Set money, we're gonna do zero. So our total balance will be whatever it is at the end of this episode today. Although when we do go through the months here, we are gonna have some uh, maintenance service charges. So we'll have to write down well what we get paid here and then we'll add it to our total for our grapes. We'll figure out our grand total for our sale and see how much we get for our efforts. Got 43,000 liters of raisins. Just a monster load here. Again, it took probably at least two if not three years to process all this. We probably should have went with the Euro version of the truck because this map is very small and trying to get around some of these corners. Alright, here we go. Actually, I don't think this is the cell point. The cell point's around the back. Yeah, that's one thing I would do to tailor this game save a little bit is to get a different truck. Here we go! Hopefully get it all in one hit here so we can get a nice total. There we go. Wow, look at that. Started at zero, remember. 199,621. Wow! Okay, it's very hard to get in here. I think we might just leave it right here. Close enough. Okay, let's shut this off here. And we shall advance to... Let's see, what month are we going to? I think February, maybe January, depending on what it looks like here. Grape juice. It says February on here. All right, we're here in February, and our grape juice is worth 187. Looks like it's starting to decline. We're going to go to the same sell point, the Jaren. So let's get busy loading up our trailer. Again, this is probably going to take a, a little while. I'll try to get our stick to four at once. Oh, I also wanted to mention uh, they had to be careful with the air conditioner here, so it, I don't know how good these... Uh, boxes under this air unit are they probably have a lot of water on them they got moisture 
We won't tell them at the sell point. We'll just uh, say, yeah, it's a high quality grape juice. Alrighty, that is the last of it right there. I was a little concerned that we weren't going to get it all on in one load, but we got her. Wow, that is a lot of grape juice. Uh, we only cracked the cement a little bit around here. I hope the uh, grape factory doesn't get mad at us for that. But... Alright. Wow, that is a lot of grape juice. Okay, let's get this strapped in. And then we shall be off if we can even get out of here. Wow. All right. We're heading towards the sell point. We got 34,992 liters. Let's see what this is going to be worth. We'll see if we can get it all in one go here. It's always a nice way to do it. Oh, if we don't get jammed up, which could happen here, which likes to happen. I'm reverse it. No, oh, well, we're not going to get it in one go. It's it's tearing us apart. Yeah, well, one sixty-five thousand there. And we get the last of it here. Okay, so the total was... 182,319 for grapes. Or grand total of 381,000... 940. Wow. So yeah, we didn't really lose a whole lot with our daily fees. About a thousand-ish. A little more than that. But yeah. That was quite the journey on the Ultimate Vineyard. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Ultimate Vineyard. Seven episodes. Had quite a lot of fun. It was a lot of work. But we had some great experimentation. Got some great profit off it. And we'll see you on the next journey here.